Affordable Care Act. Health care. Obamacare. Affordable Care Act. 40 health plans. The Affordable Care Act, the National Health Care Reform, the Patient Protection Plan, or Obamacare. No matter what you call it, it's all the same. Many teenagers at my school in Narragansett, Rhode Island, have no idea what the act is called, let alone how it affects them in their community. Hello, my name is Molly McGreevy, and I am going to inform you all of what the Affordable Care Act is and how it's affected my community. On March 23, 2010, President Barack Obama signed the Patient Protection and Affordable Care Act into law. Since then, the world of insurance as we know it has been changed. A patient can no longer be denied insurance due to a pre-existing medical condition. The act also assists with providing subsidies for low and middle class families, also expands Medicaid eligibility, and eliminates annual limits on insurance coverage, so prohibits discrimination due to gender. It also ensures coverage for individuals participating in clinical trials. Individuals that have pre-existing conditions, uh, heart disease, uh, diabetes, cancer can no longer be denied insurance uh, because of that pre-existing condition. An estimated 32 million Americans will have coverage by 2019 and the goal is that all Americans will eventually be covered by health care insurance. Affordable Care Act uh, is now covering more Americans than were, was originally projected. My home state of Rhode Island has been one of the most successful states when it comes to implementing the act and making sure every American has health care. Uh, we had one of the best rollouts uh, of any state in the country. Whenever they talk about success mm -hmm. of signing people up and technology working, uh, Rhode Island's always in the conversations of one of the best states. Unfortunately, not every state was as lucky as us. Some states struggled to implement the act, further expanding the time that their residents do not have health care insurance. There were also issues at the federal level. The website in which people were supposed to go to sign up was very faulty and crashed and could not handle the demand. Right now, the website is too slow, too many people have gotten stuck and I am not happy about it. And neither are a lot of Americans who need health care, and they're trying to figure out how they can sign up as, as quickly as possible. And now it has become a Category 5 political hurricane that is not just causing havoc in certain regions of the country, it is ripping apart every region of the country. One of the reasons it has become such a political havoc is because not all political parties are for the act. The act was put into law by President Barack Obama, who is a Democrat. Calling it Obamacare really makes a lot of people who are not Democrat upset and against the act. Virtually all of us would like to see it pulled out root and branch. We understand that the president obviously is not uh, sympathetic with that point. I asked Rhode Island Governor Lincoln Chafee, who is currently a Democrat but was previously a Republican and Independent, to explain to me about the political bias regarding acts and laws. But there's this great distrust of government that the Republicans appeal to, uh, and this government program uh, they can assail. And I was a Republican, <laughs> and I served in uh, the Senate. George W. Bush and Dick Cheney shattered the Americans' trust in government. Mm -hmm. It was them that told us Saddam Hussein had weapons of mass destruction. Yeah. It was them that told us that we could afford these gigantic tax cuts that favored the wealthy. And so now there's this great cynicism about government and somewhat well-founded. However, even some Democrats are against the act, believing that there are more important issues that need to be covered. It wasn't the change we were hired to make. Americans were crying out for the end to the recession, for better wages and more jobs, not changes in health care. There are also many misconceptions about the act. The American people don't know enough about the act, and I blame that on a lack of authority from political figures to thoroughly explain what the purpose of the act is. As an example, 
Very early on, there was confusion on whether or not, if you already had health insurance, if you would have to change your plan. If you had one of these substandard plans before the Affordable Care Act became law, and you really liked that plan, you were able to keep it. Confusion regarding the act and misconceptions led many Americans to be unsure about how they feel about the act and whether or not they are a fan. No matter what political party you associate yourself with, what state you are from, or whether or not you have health insurance, you can't deny the positive effect that it's had on my community. Do you know what percentage or number of Rhode Island residents had health care before the act was passed? 140,000, which is uh, a little over 10%. And do you know what percentage of residents currently have access to health care? 26,000 people signed up last year to be covered in 2014, and about 50% renewed their plans. Whether you are for or against the Patient Protection and Affordable Care Act, you can't deny the effect that it's had around the country, especially in my home state of Rhode Island. The act has most certainly taken Little Rhodey by storm.